Welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this class, I explain problem number three in t test for single mean, small sample case, small sample uh, test. You see the problem. The weights of ten males are given below. What are the weights of ten males? Sixty-two, sixty-four, and so on. It all given here. Test whether the average weight of the males is below sixty-six kilos. Uh, that which means uh, you have to test this particular statements. And uh, what is the n? N is equal to ten. Ten males. The data of the ten males. The weights of the ten males are given here. Which means uh, the data is given for ten males. Ten uh, sample observations. So that is n is equal to ten. And uh, one more thing, the test whether the average weight of the males is below 66 kilos. That is, we can consider this is a population statement. We have to test this particular statement. Mu is equal to 66 in the null hypothesis and not and uh, less than 66 in the alternative hypothesis. We have to consider. Okay. Now, what is this particular uh, test? Small sample or large sample? It is a small sample because uh, sample size. Is less than thirty, n is equal to ten, less than thirty. Therefore, it is a small sample test. First thing. Second thing, he is discussing about the mean. Therefore, it is a mean test. Test of mean, single mean, because one sample is drawn. Therefore, it is test for single mean. Clear? Right. Now, these are the ten observations: sixty-two, sixty-four, sixty-seven, etc., sixty-six. Are uh, all these are the ten observations? Which I consider the sample observations x, for which you ought to calculate sample mean. Population mean is specified. You ought to calculate the sample mean. So I am calculating summation x i, summation x i square. You see, refer this. Summation x i, summation x i square. X i, x i square. Calculate x i square, and calculate summation x i square. Total of these observation of these values. And total of the values x i summation x i summation i is equal to one to n x i six eighty summation x i square we got forty six thousand three thirty six like that. So these are the two values you have to calculate in the table, and then you have to go for calculation of you have to calculate mean, you have to calculate also the standard deviation sigma standard deviation yes of the sample, not sigma because sigma is not given not known. So therefore, you see the values we are calculating over here, which is nothing but uh, x bar. First of all, x bar. What is x bar? So sample mean one by n summation x i. What is summation x i? Six eighty divided by n small n ten is equal to sixty eight. That is sample mean is sixty eight. And then sample variance s square we are calculating one by n summation x i square minus x bar whole square is another formula. It is forty-six thousand three thirty-six divided by ten. Summation x square divided by n minus x bar. X bar is sixty-eight whole square. It is nine point six. We got some value. Calculate the value properly. And s is equal to square root of nine point six is equal to square root of uh, it is three point one zero. The value here we got some value three point one. This is now sample standard deviation. Yes. Sample standard deviation. Yes. Is it not clear? Is it clear? No. I wait for some time. So we have calculated x bar, and we have calculated s square. Calculate we have calc I have calculated x bar. One by n summation x i six eighty by ten is equal sixty eight. Then calculate s square sample variance one by n summation x i square. Minus x bar whole square. This is one one of the formula. Uh, you substitute the value summation x square divided by n minus uh, x bar whole square. It is nine point six some value. You calculate the value. And s you calculate the value of s that is required. Sample standard deviation s is equal to square root of s square nine point six three point one zero. Now the null hypothesis h naught mu is equal to sixty six. And uh, that is the 
the average weight of the males is 66 kilos that is what we are considering in the question it was specified that the average weight of the males is below 66 test whether the average weights of the male males is below 66 no it is not below 66 it is equal to 66 we are considering a null hypothesis in alternative hypothesis we should consider this the statement uh, that uh, the average weights of the males is uh, the average heights of the the average uh, weights of the males is below 66 kilos this is what the statement we consider in the alternative hypothesis that is h1 mu is less than 66 that is one tile test h1 mu less than 66 it is one tile test so therefore now uh, we have to continue further that is the third point uh, test a statistic under h0 test a statistic under h0 which is uh, which particular case it is sigma is uh, sigma is not known in when sigma is not given or not known then we have to consider t is equal to x bar minus mu naught divided by s by square root of n minus 1 which follows t n minus 1 this is the formula whenever sigma is not known we have to consider t statistic you we have to use t distribution t is equal to x bar minus mu naught by s by root n minus 1 that is test a statistic under h naught in the t distribution so which is uh, substitute the values x bar 68 mu naught 66 divided by s 3.1 we have calculated square root of n minus 1 10 minus 1 is equal to so now you calculate this value we got some value 1.94 so you calculate correctly the value whichever the value you got you please take the value next fourth one fourth point uh, inference or comparison and conclusion so in which you have to calculate modulus of t first is equal to 1.94 and then t alpha and n minus 1 alpha is level of significance n minus 1 degrees of freedom and for two tile test or one tile test we have to see it is for one tile test because mu less than 66 we have to consider in the alternative hypothesis therefore it is one tile test and five percent level of significance because it is not specified we are considering five percent level and uh, n minus one that is 10 minus one nine degrees of freedom so five percent level of significance nine degrees of freedom for one tile test the value is 1.833 you have a detailed uh, t tables you please see the table values and so that uh, you can easily understand so this is the significant value or tabulated value of t 1.833 at 5 percent level and 9 degrees of freedom and for one tile test these are the three points are required to get the table value so therefore 1.94 is greater than 1.833 that is modulus of t is greater than t 5 percent comma 9 therefore which implies h naught is rejected that is uh, mm, uh, h0 is rejected means h1 is accepted what is h1 the average uh, weights of the males uh, is below 66 kilos that is uh, h1 so therefore we are accepting that average weights of the males is below 66 kilos so that is what the first question we have an, one more question what is that 95 percent and 99 percent confidence limits you see find 95 percent and 99 percent confidence limits of the population mean mean weights of the males so for which it is a simple application of formula that's all if you know the formula i can easily get it you see this this is what the calculation of 95 percent confidence limits for the population mean mu what is the formula i'll tell you the formula 95 percent means you have to consider five percent level of significance x bar formula is x bar minus t 5 percent comma 9 degrees of freedom here is 9 in cr we have to consider the value and into s multiplied by square s divided by square root of n minus 1 comma x bar plus same table added value t 5 percent comma 9 and into s by square root of n minus 1 this is what the limits plus or minus with minus and with plus so uh, substitute the value 68 minus t 5 percent and 9 degrees of freedom for one tile test we have considered 3.1 1.833 into s 3.1 divided by root uh, n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 9 similarly 68 plus 1.833 into 3.1 divided by root 9 if you calculate if you 
these these two values uh, we will get uh, the confidence interval is 66.11 to 69.89 that is this is what confidence uh, uh, limits that is we are 95 percent confident that uh, the population mean mu it lies in between 66 to 69.89 this is what uh, 95 percent confidence limits come to that calculation of 99 percent confidence limits for the population mean mu here we should consider 1 percent level of significance value that is x bar minus t 1.1 percent comma 9 9 degrees of freedom into s by square root of n minus 1 and also comma x bar plus t 1 percent comma 9 into s by root n minus 1 this is what the formula x bar plus r minus t tabulated value into s by root n minus 1 that is formula x bar plus r minus t tabulated value into s by root n minus 1 with minus sign with plus sign so substitute the values 68 x bar minus t 1 percent 9 that 2.8 to 1 into s by s by that is 3.1 by root n minus 1 that is root 10 minus 1 is 9 similarly 68 plus 2.821 into 3.1 divided by root 9 is equal to the value if you calculate uh, this uh, these are the two values uh, if you calculate two values then you will get some 65.09 to 70.92 that is uh, uh, 99 percent we are confident that uh, 99 percent we are confident that uh, the population mean mu would lie in between the interval 65.09 to 70.92 that is what our conclusion so these are the 95 percent and 99 percent confidence limit, uh, confidence intervals for the population mean uh, mu uh, in the case of t distribution hope you understand thank you thank you very much